Hello, I'm Sean Fitzgerald, Chief Executive of Breathing Buildings. We founded the company to change the world of natural ventilation. And since founding the company in 2006, we've provided hundreds and hundreds of buildings with our systems. Many of these buildings have stack-based ventilation or atria-based ventilation. More recently, people have been asking us for systems that will work just with a single outside wall. So we have developed a new product, the NVHR, natural ventilation with heat recovery. And it works like this. When it is between 15 and 23 degrees C outside, it is a fully automated controlled damper. And by detecting that ventilation is required in the space by using a temperature and CO2 sensor, the damper will open. Inside, the temperature is warmer than the outside, and therefore air comes in through the lower part of the damper and leaves naturally through the upper part of the damper. If there are opening windows present, those are used as well. But when it's below 15 degrees C outside, the system changes mode. Two fans are used in the system. So the damper opens and a fresh air fan pulls air from outside into the unit. And this prevents air dumping onto people's heads sat by the window. So it prevents cold drafts as a result of the fresh air fan. A recirculation fan is also used to draw some room air into the mixing box as well. So you now have two air pathways, the outside air coming in and the recirculation air. That mixed air is ducted towards the rear of the space so that you then have a fresh air system that is draft free. The system also works in very hot weather. When it's above 23 degrees C outside, the system also uses a fan mode. But in this case, it is just the fresh air fan that ducts outside air towards the back of the space. And it alleviates the problems of air distribution in single-sided, naturally ventilated spaces by using a fan-assisted mode in those most challenging conditions. You may be wondering why we don't use a heat exchanger. The reason is that our system has incredibly low specific fan powers. So the target for the duty point of operation is 0.3 watts per litre per second, which is very low. If we were to use a heat exchanger, the specific fan powers would be much higher. And when you go and look at the benefits of a heat exchanger system, you find that there are heating savings, but the heating savings only kick in when the outside temperature is below zero degrees C. And they will use much higher fan power use because a heat exchanger is resistive. We spend so much more of our winter between zero and 15 degrees C, we spend 2,000 hours a year in those conditions and tens of hours below zero degrees C in the occupied day. Our system is therefore the lowest energy system on the market. So beware of systems that use heat exchanges. They have very high specific fan powers. They are not the most energy efficient systems on the market for non-domestic buildings. And you will also have to look very carefully at the noise generated from those systems. The reason our fans are so quiet is that we don't have to run them very hard because the system is not providing very much resistance to the airflow. We look forward to hearing from you.